Hello children, we have now reached the last stage of our entire year's preparation. Where we are sitting very close to the exam. And this 10-minute session is going to be very important for you. If you are going to give the NEAT 2025 exam, let me tell you son, in the NEAT paper, you will have 45 questions, if I talk about physics, then assume that about 30 questions are directly based on formula. The remaining 15 questions are a little more conceptual or theoretical. But the 30 questions that I am going to talk about, there is a direct formula to be applied. We should remember the formula, their different terms should be remembered and the answer has to be found by directly applying them to the question. Today I am going to tell you 50 such physics facts, which if you look at the previous year papers, then every year you can assume that out of 20 to 25 30 questions that come on formula basis, 20 to 25 questions means you can assume that 80% of the formula based questions are based on these formulas. So which are those 50 such formulas, they have each term of the formula written properly, I am going to show you here. Son, you must remember these formulas before going to the exam. Note down all the formulas properly and revise them again and again. This is going to be a very important session. Look at what I am saying carefully. Understand this. Look, I have written a total of 50 formulas one by one and I have also explained here what the different terms of each formula are telling. You have to remember it in this way only. Like we study formulas in elasticity, it is very important. The formula of delta L in elongation in wire is FL, yaw. From the chapter on elasticity, there are maximum chances of getting questions from this formula. Or the full of energy density 1 half asterisk stress asterisk strain. If I say overall, then questions come from these two formulas only from this chapter. Okay? Similarly, there are other formulas also written. Like if I talk about the chapter on fluid, then the formula of terminal velocity is very important. This is a formula. These are its terms. It should be remembered properly. Similarly, we should remember the formula of capillary rise height. These are its different terms. You should save this proper PDF properly and I will also tell you where to get this PDF. So save it and memorize each formula by writing it down, son. It is very important. Okay? And yes, the way I have designed 50 formulas. You can see that each formula is very important. Along with this, I have divided the entire physics into about 120 topics, including 11th and 12th. 120 topics are divided into small topics like these formulas. Similarly, I have broken concepts into small topics. There are 120. They are more. But yes, 120 are those topics from where you can understand that about 40 to 42 questions out of 45 are going to be from them. Those concepts are going to be there and I am going to make you practice all those concepts with questions in this last marathon. There are a total of four sessions in this. There are sessions scheduled. The first session is tomorrow. Join me in the morning at 9 a.m., son. Every concept which will be asked in the exam, you will get to see it here. Okay? So these are going to be live sessions. This is a different thing. You should save this. We will meet tomorrow at 9 o'clock in this session. Let's come back. For example, if we talk about fluid, then apart from those two formulas, there are two formulas of axis pressure and surface energy. This is also very important. Similarly, the formula of rate of heat flow in conduction. This formula will mostly be useful for you in conduction. Rate of heat flow is Ka delta T, L. What is delta T here? What is A? What is L? What is K? Everything is written here. I was talking about this PDF. You will get the complete PDF on this Telegram channel. You can also join from here or search this is the Telegram channel in the name of ACP SIRS official. You will get this PDF there and you will get a lot of other things there, notes etc. properly. Now look, I will not explain here because you must have read all these formulas somewhere. I am just explaining to you that all these formulas are very important. Newton's law of cooling, V-zone's displacement and this power radiated, that means these three formulas, that whole chapter of mechanical thermal properties of matter, understand that these three formulas are going to be very important in the whole chapter. Similarly, look at the time period formulas, son, you will see that in SHM, questions of time period will come. Then mostly the questions are related to this formula or to the simple pendulum formula. The whole chapter is very big in itself, but these formulas are very important in themselves. Similarly, the relation between acceleration velocity and SHM, which is the relation of acceleration with X and velocity with X, is very important. Questions also come directly from this. If I talk about standing wave, both are similar. Whether you talk about wire or sound, both the formulas of standing wave are almost similar. You have to remember them. 
One is fixed from both hands or for open organ pipe and this is fixed from one hand or for closed organ pipe. Okay, and this formula of resonance column tube experiment to calculate velocity is 2FL, 2L, 1L, 1L2 which are the lengths where peak sound is heard, resonance occurs. Those are the two lengths L1 and L2. You have to apply the formula directly and get the answer. Similarly, the formula of speed of wave is formed. If the wave is an electromagnetic wave, then these fields are also applied. The formula for the velocity of a string or transverse wave is this. The formula for the velocity of longitudinal wave is this. Different terms are written in front of you. Okay, you can download and save this entire PDF and if you want, you can incorporate them in your short notes. These fields are very important. Talking about the photoelectric effect, look, there is a formula for maximum kinetic energy. A question has to come from the de Broglie wavelength. The question comes from this formula only. There is no question from the de Broglie wavelength outside this. The graph comes on this. Okay, if you look at NEAT 2024, you will find many questions from these fields. Okay, if I talk about atomic structure, then the proportionality of radius, velocity, and total energy is very important. This is in hydrogen spectrum, we have to calculate the wavelength. When a photon jumps from one energy level to another, how much wavelength will the photon release? What will be the wavelength of the photon? We calculate it from here. Similarly, this formula of radius is very important inside the nucleus. The concept of binding energy has to be kept in mind. Both these methods are from mass and from binding energy we can find the Q value of any reaction. Son, let me tell you the formula of fringe width. If we talk about the whole wave optics, not that divide wave optics into three topics, meaning three formulas. So one formula is fringe width, the whole VDS is solved by this. I have explained each concept in smart one shot by relating it. Diffraction The essence of diffraction is that the width of the central maxima is double that of the other maxima and is of this length. If the angular width is required then it becomes 2 lambda, a, d is removed. The variation of intensity for making unpolarized light into polarized light happens in this way. And in what does this happen? There are many more chances of questions coming from this formula than the concept of Brewster angle. This is the formula of Brewster angle. A question from this has been asked in NEAT 2024 as well. Similarly, how will you calculate the focal length of any lens? Its main formula is this. Okay, these are the formulas of the power of equivalent focal length for a combination of lenses. So I am not explaining each and every formula because you must have read it somewhere uselessly. I am just telling you, son, which are the formulas that you should remember before going to the exam. Okay, right? Directly see this formula many times. Give sin c equals mu or give velocity. That means this question has been asked four to five times in neat. Four times only this formula based questions have been asked. Direct velocity is given and we find it. Just the method of finding induced EMF in coil. How much induced EMF is there in induced EMF in self induction and mutual induction? This is also a very important formula. The formula of energy conservation, whether it is of capacitor, inductor or spring. Look, there are some similar formulas. Look in Transformer 2024, it has directly asked us the ratio of EMF or ratio of current by giving the ratio of number of turns. It has asked this formula many times. Okay? Similarly, look at the formula of magnetic material. This I equals is very important. The radius is the magnetic susceptibility. The higher the radius, the more magnetic properties it will have. Magnetic field due to long wire. Now see which are the important factors of magnetic field. One is the magnetic field due to long wire and the other is magnetic field due to circular loop. Circular loop was asked in NEAT 204. Many times it was of solenoid. See, one of these three formulas will be asked. Either of solenoid or circular loop or of straight wire. Direct formula based question will come. Nothing has to be done. Direct formula has to be applied. This has been asked three four times. After this, when the particle moves on a circular path, then the formula of its radius. All these are the same factors. They are just written in different ways. Case of velocity sector. This should also be remembered directly. In this velocity selector, when E, V and B are mutually perpendicular, in that case the particle passes straight at this velocity without getting deflected. Similarly, there is a formula for force between two parallel wires. This is also very important. How to find the magnetic movement of a loop. This is the method. The formula for current in terms of drift current in terms of drift velocity is also very important. Okay? Similarly, the variation of resistance capacitance. Look at capacitance. Understand all these meanings in such a way that you have memorized them. Meaning, the game of dielectric ends here in capacitance. Force between parallel plates in dielectric. This question has been asked three or four times with F. I will tell you, son, the direct formula is Q squared, 2. Look at the torque on the dipole. I have not added the formula of torque on the dipole yet, but you can add a little. 
There is torque on the dipole. The field and potential of the dipole on the dipole are also very important. Remember that too. Now if I tell you about a sphere in the whole of electrostatics, then remember the potential and field formulas of the sphere. Remember the field and potential formulas of the dipole, and this torque formula. Right, right, but I have written the most useful ones. The rest are also useful. If you look at the whole of electrostatics, there are hundreds of formulas out of which I have mentioned some four or five formulas. That is very important. Similarly, this formula is also very useful in electrostatics and is also useful in photonics that if Q charge is accelerated by V volts, then the change in kinetic energy is QV. Similarly, in gravitation, see this formula of acceleration due to gravity. Sometimes the question is either asked in a roundabout manner, either this one or this one, both are same. This one is in terms of mass or in terms of density. The rest of the swelling is same, right? Both are the same, the acceleration due to gravity. Both escape velocity and orbital velocity should be remembered. This should be remembered in terms of small g as well as in terms of g. Capillary thermistor law t squared is proportional to r. All such things. I see, my main motive of telling this is that it should not happen that you are reading a lot but you might miss the important thing, that is the formula. So remember all these formulas properly and I say that you should also solve 2-3 questions on each formula. Okay? I just told you that in this upcoming Maha Marathon, I am going to break the entire physics into 120 topics. Mostly you will get to see questions from there. I will also explain its theory in detail. I will tell you the formula. I will also get you to ask questions on that. All the practice will be done. I will cover the entire syllabus in four sessions. Okay? And this is the least count of vernier calipers and least count of screw gauges. I have covered only formula-based questions in these. I have covered those questions which are theoretical. Because theoretical questions can come from anywhere in the entire theory. I cannot tell you that in terms of formula. Okay, right? So whatever formula-based questions there are, assume that 80% formula-based questions will come from here. I am saying 80% minimum chance that the directly formula-based questions will come from here because I have broken down all the formulas into just 50 formulas. Okay? So save this. And if you want to completely revise the entire 11th and 12th in just 4 sessions, if you want to cover it, then anything that will appear in the exam, maybe you are missing, then it will be identified and covered. So for that, we will meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay son, thank you. Keep working hard. A very good result is going to be achieved in a strong way. Thank you son.